We're getting set for the second game, the end of our uh, 2012 player combine. It's white against reds. Jason, let's start with the lineup for the whites. In goal for the white team, Adi Pure is Chris Blaze from University of South Florida. Left back, Tyler Pollock from Creighton. Andy Rose, Andrew Jean-Baptiste are in the middle. Nick Blake, Baptiste's teammate from UConn, out on the right. Michael Green and Kevon George holding midfielders with Artur Ivo ahead of them, the SMU attacking midfielder. Up top, we have a three forward alignment with Karo Okiyama from High Point. On the left side, Ethan Finley in the middle as the target, and Kohi Yamada, very interesting pr prospect out of Japan, up top as well. We go to the Reds. Adi Power, and we start with Brian Rowe from UCLA in goal. From left to right, Hunter Jumper from Virginia. In the middle, Justin Chavez from Tulsa, Matt Hedges from UNC. Aubrey Perry, the right back from South Florida. In the middle, Greg Jordan is going to be the holding midfielder. In front of him, Luis Silva, the attacking midfielder. On the right, Alec Purdy, always busy from Indiana. On the left, the Englishman, Jason Banton, looking to use his speed to cause havoc. And up top, a new forward pairing. It's Chandler Hoffman, the highly touted forward from UCLA. Pairing up with Lucky Kosana from Dartmouth, the Ivy League Player of the Year. Yeah, I think uh, a lot of firepower on the field here. Two teams who can score some goals. We expect to see some goals. Chandler Hoffman has been doing that at the Combine. The whole time we expect him, one of the top prospects in the draft, to only play a half here. He's nursing a little bit of an injury. Uh, they don't want him to overdo it, but he is going to get out here and play 40 minutes for the first half. Luis Silva intercepts. Feeds Chandler Hoffman. Hoffman to Gorenz Vai. Gorenz is going to take the shot over the bar. Here is Ethan Finley. Feeding Arthur Evo. His shot just over the bar. He was aiming for that far right corner. And it's a goal kick. Of course, some of the seniors here signed contracts already with the league. You, those are the guys who you know are going to get taken uh, in the super draft. Um, so it's the top seniors, guys like Luis Silva. Lakim Kosana with the ball. He's going to poke a right-footed shot past uh, the goalkeeper, Chris Blaze. It's 1-0 Reds. Nice finish by Lakim Kosana from Dartmouth. And Kosana does very well there, pulls it down with his chest. The last touch in front of the goal is perfect, getting it by Chris Blaze. Showing what he can do, Kosana, one of those players, maybe not very high on the radars of MLS coaches coming in here. He's out of Dartmouth, played in the Ivy League. He was the Ivy League Player of the Year. Wide left, here's Hunter Jumper. Jumper's cross, looking for Kosana, the header wide right. Luis Silva stepping in. Feeds Jason Banton, Banton with a chance to run. Speed versus speed against Nick Blake. The shot by Banton, save Blaze. Michael Green, wide left to Luke Holmes, has the overlap from Tyler Pollock, but takes the right-footed shot right at Brian Rowe. Hard challenge by Lucky Kosana. Greg Jordan took it, uh, hit the ground. Reds still have it, Callum Malice with a ball that hit the left post. Jason Banton operating more centrally in the second half. Out wide to Alec Purdy of Indiana. Gets by Michael Green easily. Purdy in the box. The curling shot save by Chris Blaze. And now the corner kick from the far right side. Hunter Jumper coming all the way from his left back position to take it with his left foot. The cross, a good one. Still in the box. The shot in. Goal. That looked like Tony Walls with the shot in the box. Actually, it was Alec Purdy with the deflection. Gets the high five from Jason Banton. The shot by Tony Walls, deflected by Alec Purdy for the goal. It's 2-0 Reds at Jason Seguini on Twitter. Ethan Finley's cross looking for, that looked like Karo Okioma. The ball finished wide. Justin Chavez now coming out for the Reds. Kosana, nice layoff for Callum Malice making a run. Malice known for these runs. And the shot, beautiful goal! Happy birthday, Callum Malice. Beautiful goal, top right corner. 
Callum Mallis on his birthday. We've seen he's been very active in the midfield, getting out on the wings, really finding places to collect the ball, showing what he can do. He can hit a ball very well from distance. The Reds still not done here of getting goals. It's 3-0. Jason Banton wants one of his own. Switching sides, still going. Left footed shot, goal. Great move by Jason Banton, who got his goal finally. It's 4-0. Simon, I think they realize there's not much time left to impress. Really get, taking it at players. Banton showing what he can do there. A couple of cutbacks and a great strike with his left foot. You know, if and when he's drafted, he's going to have to show some type of versatility of playing out wide at some point because I'm not sure he can play underneath right off the bat. Ethan Finley on his left foot, crossing the box. The ball still deflected. That's number 30, Andrew Duran with the goal. <laughs> so the Whites Dur get one back. Andrew Duran continues to impress. He's played some right back. He's played central defense. Now getting up a little further and scoring a goal to help his team cut into the 4-0 lead. It's he looks like Clarence Goodson's brother. <laughs> it's 4-1 here. That's been an interesting kind of story for me because everywhere Andrew Duran's played in this combine, the guy next to him has looked good. Through ball for Luis Silva. What does he do with it? Deflected by Austin Berry. Lucky Cosana back in the game. Number 72 looking for a goal with just five minutes to go. Tony Walls with a shot. Wide left. Chris Blaze showing good instincts. Yeah, Blaze was definitely good out here today. But I, I don't know that I've seen it, the total package from him over the course of the combine or really in his collegiate career. I'd still say Mara probably a little bit ahead of him just for his ability to command the box. And you heard and saw the final whistle from our referee. That'll do it for this game. Four to one, it finishes in favor of the red team over the whites.